Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey. This is number 43 in my IGCSE exam question series. This is recurring decimals. If you find it useful, please like the video and subscribe if you're not ready. Let's get into the maths. Okay, um, the first thing you do, and these questions are so formulaic, it's unreal. You write x is equal to this recurring decimal. 6, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1. So it's the 8, 1 which keeps recurring. And because there are two digits which are reoccurring, I'm going to multiply by 100, which is 1 with two zeros. I'm going to do it above so it's easy for me to subtract afterwards. So I'm going to get 100x. And timesing this through by 100 is going to move the decimal place two spaces. So I'm going to get 68 point and then 1818181. And that's going to go on forever and that's, so is that. But doing this method means you're going to line them up perfectly. So when I subtract... I get the 1's cancelling, the 8's cancelling, 1's cancel, 8's cancel, 1's cancel, 8's cancel, and now I have 66.1 minus 0 0.6. So I go to my calculator, I can do 68.1 minus 0 0.6, and I get 67.5. And over here, I get 100x minus 1x is 99x. So solving for x, I can divide both sides by 99, and I get 67.5 over 99. I can then times both of these by 2 to get the top as a whole number. So times that by 2 is going to give me 135 over 99 times 2 is 198. And then finally, I can just type this into my calculator and I'm hoping and praying that it will simplify down to what the question has asked me for. And it does, so I can just write 15 over 22 and feel confident I've got it right. Okay, next question is very similar. Again, I write x is equal to 0 0.254, reoccurs. There's two digits reoccurring, so I times by 100, and that's going to give me 25.4545454, and that's going to carry on. I'm going to subtract. They should line up perfectly, which they do, so all of these cancel, and then here we get different digits. So we do 25.4 minus... 0 0.2 and that gives me 25.2 and then over here I get 99x so solving for x is going to give me 25.2 over 99 I'm going to times top and bottom by 5 to get rid of that decimal because a 0.2 times 5 is going to give me a whole so times that by 5 is going to give me 126 and then times 99 by 5 as well to keep the fraction the same is going to give me 495. And then I'm good to go. I could just type that into my calculator and then hope and pray that it's going to give me the same as the question, which it does. So I'm good just to write that down. And I've got all my marks. And that's it. I can't find any other IGC questions where the recurring decimal place is not two digits. So... I've got no more questions. Let's just move on to the next topic.